Tom, I talked with a family friend and also a protest organizer. They have both rallied on behalf of Elijah McClain after what happened here on Billing Street in August of 2019. Neither of them are surprised at the report, but they do have a different take on the findings. 18 months later, the memorial for Elijah McClain still remains. 18 months. Once again, once again. And Candace Bailey says more needs to be done over the death of her family friend. This is what oppression looks like in real time. This is the report that outlines problems from the initial Stop. contact by police to the paramedics to the initial investigation. Bailey believes the report is not enough. They're just checking boxes. These are performative actions. This is not change. That's not what change looks like. When you change your clothes, you can tell. They all need to be fired, and the report gives them grounds to do that. Lillian House <laughs> organized a protest over McLean's death. She says the report confirms what they knew all along. It removes, you know, what we've seen the Aurora Police Department, the Aurora Fire Department, the city, all saying, oh, we can't, we don't have what we need to fire these officers. That's not within our power. Uh, that's what we've been hearing for 18 months. Well, that's gone now. And it's not okay. And there is no such thing as the right side of wrong. 18 months, no officers fired for the confrontation at this spot. 18 months, no charges. 18 months, they say, no justice. I think this report is a searing indictment of the Aurora Police Department and the Aurora paramedics. A man was murdered. Make it right. If it were your child, what would you expect? His mother expects nothing less.